How old are you? Four. Your mum is worried about you, but you want to explore that old house on the hill. Please help me. They're chasing me. Oh, my little girl is dying because of that, that monster in there. They think I'm a witch. She saw something. What could she have seen? The house. It's alive. It's alive. Boys, the house on Possessed Hill. Like this all up and down the East Coast. 
of unnatural violence. Maybe you should postpone your trip until the morning. I'll be fine. I've driven in worse storms than this. I don't like the idea of Joe driving down to Circle Hills in this. He sounded tired on the phone. I'm sure he'll be all right. What's happening? I don't know. An earthquake? It's some kind of a tremor. those files badly. You sure you still want to go on this trip? Yeah, I'm sure. Turn here, right here. What does this lead to? The house. What house? The house on the hill. Whose house on the hill? It belongs to the dead. Oh, the dead. Stop here. Why did you want to come here? Because they won't follow us in here. I wouldn't follow us in there. Wait a minute, wait! Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
Why didn't you answer me? I was looking at him. He sort of dominates this room, don't you think? This was his house. I know it. I can feel it. You couldn't have lit this fire. No. And who did? The house. It runs itself. Listen, fires don't light by themselves. Now I was just out in that hallway, and there's dust everywhere except for one table that is completely wiped clean. Now, either someone is living here, someone has been here... Or... or what? Isn't it about time you told me? I mean, I don't even know your name. It's Stacy. Stacy Blaine. My name is... Joe, I know. You're very kind to have helped me. I didn't mean to drag you into all this. Other people's troubles should be their own. Yeah, well, I have a tendency of getting involved in other people's troubles. How did you know my name? I know things. I can feel things. Things in the air around me, things that have happened, or things that are going to happen. <sighs> this house is full of memories and secrets, death. You're saying this house is haunted? There are forces at work here. Terrifying forces. What kind of a police department do you have in this town? I mean, what does the sheriff think of all of this? I think he believes them. Oh, terrific. tired of waiting. They won't come in here. Yeah? See for yourself. Maybe the phone works. It went dead just then. Stacy, there's got to be a way out of here. And they may have the back covered, but we're going to have to take that chance. They won't come in here, Joe. They're afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of what, Stacy? The house. The house? Lights just came on by themselves. I know. How did that happen? It's the girl. She controls that house. Jim, if you forcibly take that girl, it's kidnapping. That's a felony. You're not thinking. You're not thinking rationally. You don't understand. My little girl is dying because of that, that monster in there. I've got to get her out of here and away, far enough away so that Jennifer can recover. And I'm going to do it tonight. No. I don't want any part of it. I don't want any part of your witch hunt. Don't you go run into the sheriff! All right, you men, get around back till they can't get out that way. I can wait. Captain to the front desk. Bell Captain to the well, front desk. Well, we would have desk. caught her right there if this orange van hadn't picked her up right out of the road. Who was driving it? I don't know, some young guy. He took her up to the Denham house. An orange van. 
an instrument of the devil. Unless she took him. Let's get out of the lobby. Where is Denim House? Okay, we're watching the back of the house. I think we can make a run for it out the front. Listen. Can't you hear it? Hear what? <laughs> a girl screamed and now she's crying. And soft, heartbreaking sobs. She's so unhappy. I don't hear anything. I wonder if it's her. Who? Anne. She wrote this letter. It's dated 1743. There's so much history in here. If only I could understand it. What, what is this place? I, what, what is happening here? What kind of a house is this? It was built at the turn of the 16th century in Denham, England by Lord Douglas Spencer. His descendants lived in it for 200 years until the last of the Spencers, John and his wife Anne and their three children, were murdered by a secret society. They threatened them to leave for weeks. They wouldn't leave their house. And this was their house. And they never did leave. That's John Spencer. His wife had that same satanic look. You can see why the people thought they were the devil's children. But they weren't. I know that. After the death of the Spencers, Denham House was empty for 150 years. The grounds became overgrown with weeds, and the house fell into decay. Strange noises were heard, and lights were seen, and no one would come near it. until a family bought it and restored it in 1895. What happened to them? They lived in it for 35 years. The wife was declared insane and the husband disappeared. He was never heard of again. Then it remained empty again for 30 years, till Mr. Cunningham bought it. Jack Cunningham, the financier? He has a big estate outside Circle Hills. He saw this house on a trip to England. He had it brought back piece by piece, everything intact, all the furniture. He went to England to find this house. He's a direct descendant of the Spencers. He was going to live in it. What changed his mind? The house didn't want him. Before she died, Anne wrote this letter to her captors. Nothing will ever grow here again. No one will live in peace in this house. It has been tainted with your dark forces. Your children will be born hairless and nailless. You will all perish violently. God forgive you for what you are going to do. It's her. I know it is. They can't get in unless they force the door or break the window. It's a young man. It's a little older than you. It's a relative. I can't see him clearly.
piece of Frank. Well, let's get out of here. You don't understand. We're here to report that. To report what? Just exactly what charge are you bringing Grant up on? Those people were chasing her. I mean, she was running through those woods for her life. Joe, take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Do you know that they were calling her a witch? A witch! I know what they were calling her. And I know what some people think. I don't like what happened to you tonight, but you can't arrest somebody for wanting to talk to you or following you when you run away. He wasn't threatening. you see a gun or any other weapon? Well, there's nothing I can do about it tonight. If Grant continues to harass you or he actually makes a threat, then I can act. Oh, well, that's comforting to know. Don't get involved. It's none of your business. I'm making it my business. Joe. Frank, I'm not leaving Circle Hills until I'm sure that she's safe. If you're passing through our town, pass through. If you're staying, I don't want to hear either one of your names again. Is that clear? Crystal. Stacy, I'll have one of the cars take you home. I called your mother and told her you're all right. She's waiting up for you. We'll take her. Oh, Stacy. I was so worried about you. I'm fine, Mother. Just fine. Goodbye. Stacy? You want to talk to me? No, I said I was fine. Good night. Oh, uh, this is Dr. Mann, Stacy's doctor. Hi, how do you do? It's nice to meet you. I'm very grateful to you. Sheriff Hollister told me how you protected my daughter from those, those men. I don't know how to thank you. Tell us about your daughter, Mrs. Blaine. Tell us about Stacy. Well, I... Uh... I'm sure Mrs. Blaine's gratitude does not extend to discussing her daughter with strangers, Mr. Hardy. Dr. Mann, we probably saved Stacy's life tonight. There was an angry mob out there chasing her and calling her a witch and wanting to run her out of town. Now, we've become friends with her and we'd like to help her if we could. I see. How long has your daughter been able to see things, predict the future? Why don't you all come and sit down? Stacy's always been highly strong. When she was very small, my husband and I realized right away that she was different. I mean, she has a strange intensity. She'll tell you what's going to happen to you or can tell if something's wrong. Precognition? I treated Stacy. Even took her to New York once to see a colleague of mine there. Nothing helped. She has a strange fascination with the supernatural. That house on the hill. What is Stacy's association with that house? I'll never forget the night she came home from there. The police brought her, sobbing and crying and talking about the house, the evil there. I'd told her never to go to Possessed Hill. That's what they call it here, Possessed Hill. For days and days, she cried. She'd never tell us what she was upset about or what frightened her. How old was she? Four. How long have the townspeople considered her some sort of witch? Oh, since she was about eight. 
She'd tell people something was going to happen to them, and then it happened, and they were frightened by it. And so was she. You know, I, I think the answer is pretty simple. Stacy's psychic. She's clairvoyant. Some people consider that a gift. Well, it's not right. It's not meant to be. I don't know how long we can stay here in Circle Hill. It's always been our home. A witch. A witch. From what you told me, this girl does sound a little weird. It's never stopped us before. That's true. Do you know that she knew my name before I told her? She knew that it was you outside getting into the van, too. I never met anyone like her. I didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah, you were thinking it. I was thinking that Dad sends the Circle Hills to do a job. Not to turn the whole town against us. So maybe we should leave it alone. Maybe the sheriff's right. Maybe we shouldn't be involved. We can't pick up every emotional stray we run into, can we? Is that what you really think? No, but I thought I'd try it on for size, see if I like it. I didn't like it. Let's help her. Well, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. I suggest we get some sleep. Joe. But somehow I don't think I have your full attention. Sorry. I, I just can't get that house out of my mind. I mean, there's something happening up there, Frank. I know it. it the fireplace was lit when we got there. There's, there's a connection. I know there's a connection between Stacy and that house. I think we should go back there. We will in the morning in daylight. Frank, you're not scared of going there at night, are you? I think that captures the spirit of it. Okay, okay, I, I guess I can face the demons of the night alone. See you in the morning. Brothers. I wonder if Hitchcock's seen this place. Well, at least the place is hospitable. That's how Stacy talked about it. Like it had an identity of its own. Forget I mentioned it. Place, huh? Yeah, nice. Frank. This fire shouldn't be burning this high. No, it shouldn't be burning like that at all. As a matter of fact, it was almost out when I... someone has stoked this fire since I left. I'll check out the first floor. Okay, I'll look upstairs and see if there's anything in any of the bedrooms. Why don't you, uh, why don't you see if there's a basement? Thanks. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it.
Stacy, why did you come back here? The house called me. Oh, memories locked inside. I can't get them out of my head. What? A terrible thing, a tragedy. And I was there when it happened, and I saw it all. What did you see? When it was over, I ran all the way home, crying. Is that who you heard crying in your head earlier? Yourself? No, that was Anne. Her bad memories were locked inside this house, too. Stacy, you have to tell me what you saw. You have to tell me what frightened you. Where did you see it that, that night all those years ago? Where have you been? I found someone in the basement. He saw me and ran, so I went after him. Unfortunately, he got away. Would you recognize him again if you saw him? Yeah, I got a good look at his face. You know, he seems familiar. I think I've seen that face somewhere before. I just can't remember where. Good. Uh, Stacy, I'm going to take you home now, OK? Uh, I don't think the house wants you here tonight. No, not tonight. You tackled. He said you could recognize him again if you saw him. I think so. Well, was it someone you knew personally? No, not personally. Uh, someone, someone you saw on television, maybe on the news. It wasn't television. In the newspaper, I've seen that face before in a newspaper. Recently? I think so. Some crime. Do you remember where the crime took place? I think it had something to do with Circle Hills. A sleepy little town, they sure know how to fill up a weekly paper. Some of this stuff's almost interesting. I just wish we knew what we were looking for. I'm looking for a face, a face I think I've seen before. You know, I think we've gone back too far. I think it was more recent. No, wait. What? What is it? It's our man. Saturday, August 12th, 1959. You couldn't have seen this story before you were a baby. Do you remember they reviewed the case last year? It was in all the papers and magazines. Alan, the guy in front here, was still claiming he was innocent. They gave him a retrial and his sentence was reduced. In fact, he'd be paroled by now. What happened to his partner? He's still in jail. He'd confess to masterminding the whole thing. Frank, it says there are three people involved in the robbery. They never found the third man. Everyone assumed that he'd made off with all the money. So they never found the half million dollars either, right? No. And Alan and his partner were found here in Circle Hills. How old did you say Stacy is? 22, 23. At the time of the Jackson robbery, she'd been about... Four. That was the time she came running down from the house on the hill, crying and upset. Something that's disturbed her ever since. She was saying she was... Uh, something happened. She was... Something terrible. A tragedy. She saw something. What could she have seen? Well, I think there's only one person who can tell us that. Stacy. And she can't remember. She could if she were four, again. How old are you? Four. And what kind of a day did you have today, Stacy? I played with my friend Sarah. We were playing Laramie. And I'm Jess and she's Slim. The 
but then she had to go home because her mommy had to go to the market. And I fell down and hurt my knee. And does it hurt now? No, it's all right. This is my doll, Matilda. I call her that because my daddy brought her all the way from Australia. He's coming home for Christmas. It's late now. Very late. You should be home. But you've wandered off on your own. You do that a lot, I know. Your mummy's worried about you. But you want to explore that old house on the hill. How did you get in? The back door was open. What's it like in here? Scary. What do you hear, Stacy? Voices. Where are they coming from? Down there. The basement. What is it, Stacy? What is it? Man. Stacy. Understand that? You're the first guy they'll try and track down. You've got to go undercover. Two men are shouting. What else, Stacy? What else are they doing? $500,000, not even my own mother. We took that bank together and we're taking the money together. We're getting out of the country through my connections, Blake. You seem to forget that. We do it my way or there's no plane. One of them's putting flour in the wall. Flour? Flour sacks. White sacks. In the wall. In the wall where, Stacy? Show us. What is it, Stacy? What's happening? Stacy, wait. Don't be afraid. We're here with you. And show us where the men were fighting. Show us where they were putting the sacks in the wall. Mm. 
here. Here, Stacy. Saved me a lot of trouble. You two against the wall. Get away from there. Nineteen years. Nineteen years I've waited to find this. What are you going to do with it? What I intended to do with it then, I'm going to take it. The partner never told you. He was going to bury it all. No, but I knew it was somewhere in this house. What about us? What about you? I don't think anyone's going to come up here and look for you. Molly! All right, get up. You've got to break yourself of that habit. You might hurt yourself. I'll try and remember that. You got here just in time. Yeah, I heard you were up here working on some kind of an experiment. Grant had made some more threats against Stacy. I wanted to see if she was all right. I've got some men outside after I deliver him. I think somebody around here should tell me what in the blue-eyed world's going on. It's all right. Everything's all right now. I'll tell you when you grow up. I'd be happy to know that Grant's daughter is going to recover. And I talked to the sheriff. He said there won't be any more harassment. And apparently, there's quite a reward for the recovery of the Jackson Bank money. Ten percent goes to you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know that Dr. Mann wants you to see some parapsychologists, but don't worry about it. I mean, uh... What you have is a gift, and you should treat it as such. Don't be frightened by it. You're such a good person, Joe. Be happy. You too. I'll see you again. I know. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. That's quite a girl. I didn't say anything. Did you hear me say anything? You didn't have to. I gave Phil Carlson Dad's files and he gave me the package. He apologized for being a day late coming home. He said he knows that after living here 20 years, not much happens in Circle Hills and we must have been pretty bored. Of course, you told him we were. Let's go. <laughs> place does look kind of alive, doesn't it? Joe, there's a reasonable explanation for everything that's taken place here. Yeah? The house in Bayport was hit by a freak earth tremor. The sheriff had said that a freak bolt of lightning hit the power station in Jackson. That's why all the lights came on. The fire in the fireplace was lit by Alan. That's whose presence you felt. And Stacy only heard her go crying in her imagination. Probably herself. Yeah, I guess you're right. Frank? Frank! What? Oh. Never mind, let's, let's, let's just get out of here. 